let's get back to the markets now. This is our special segment, Charting Trends. Gautam Shah, founder and chief strategist at Goldilocks Premium Research, joins us now to talk about what the way forward could look like for the market. And it's very interesting. In his report, he talks about how the big picture for a market is perhaps a breakout on the upside that's coming through. Uh, he says that the market could reverse and move up in a big way. So let's find out more. Gautam, good morning. Uh, how are you feeling about the market? you think that the next leg could be on the way up? And if yes, what are the levels to look at? Good morning, Sonia. Yes, it does look like. I think we went through a very orderly correction for the last six weeks. And in that period, uh, you had a scenario wherein the mid caps and small caps did exceedingly well. And given the kind of action that we've seen in the last two days, it just seems as if the markets are ready for a breakout on the upside. And that breakout takes place above the level of 19,600. And you must have seen as the markets got into September, the participation has been better, the leadership has returned, the momentum is excellent. And obviously, we are enjoying global tailwinds as well. So given all of these factors, it does seem as if the Nifty will finally move out of hibernation, get past 19,600, and gradually go back to levels of 20,000 and beyond. But the real story is outside of the Nifty, something that I've been maintaining all along. I think uh, you have a lot of sectors like IT, metals, uh, uh, you know, PSU, mid caps, small caps that continue to stand out and we see great opportunities there. Okay, it's interesting a couple of points that you've made. You said that markets are ready for a breakout on the upside and the Nifty will gradually get to 20,000 and beyond. But more importantly, leadership has returned. Where do you see leadership now? Is it in IT, banks and what else are you looking at? You know, when you look at the Nifty, you have to look at three different pockets, which is IT, banks, and Reliance. You know, they basically constitute, I think, 50-60% of the Nifty. And what's happened in the last two days is that the IT index, after being in hibernation mode for almost a year, a year has finally broken out on the upside. That looks excellent on the charts. And I'm looking at a 2,000 to 3,000 point rally on the IT index from current levels. So all your top stocks, I think, could contribute significantly, which is going to help the Nifty. The bank Nifty is still a bit of a laggard. It needs to get past uh, the you know 45,000 on a closing basis. If that happens, we are looking at great strength. Otherwise, I think uh, you know you, bank Nifty just remains a, a, a market performer. Okay. You know, uh, Gautam, hi. Good morning. Uh, now, the small cap index, right, recently took out the, its previous high, which was, I think, made in, uh, what, January of 22, uh, it was, uh, the uh, last high, and we've recently taken it out. <coughs> uh, what happens to indices once they take out sort of, you know, long-held previous highs? I mean, do they typically, uh, is there a behavior we can refer to? Uh, uh, it, things may look overbought, but then a new high... Uh, does it mean newer, meaningfully newer highs after that? Uh, interestingly, Prashant, I have two decades of experience at the markets, and that experience is not helping with what's happened with the mid caps and small caps. I think this is an absolutely out of the box rally that we've seen in the last three months. Maybe because domestic liquidity is coming in strongly into the mid caps and small caps uh, as sticky money as SIP money. And I think that's really been the game changer and it's been the reason why small caps and mid caps have done so well. Yes, the small cap index has just got past the recent high, but don't look at it in absolute terms. Look at it in relative terms. In relative terms to the nifty, I think the small cap index has a lot more upside potential from current levels. In fact, our working target for the mid cap index is about 42,000 and about 10 15% upside looks likely for the small caps even from here. Traditionally, if you look at the charts, you might feel that the small caps and mid caps are overbought. Yes, they are overbought. They will go through their knee jerk reactions from time to time. It could happen anytime. But, but trajectory wise, I think all is still well and there is clearly room for a lot more upside. So don't look at things absolutely, things uh, look at things relative terms that will make it a lot more comfortable to participate in this market. Okay, you also said that in the large caps, it's the IT space that you're betting on in a big way and there's a big breakout that you're, uh, you know, expecting to see. What else? Uh, Reliance, LNT. LNT has come back in a big way as well. Where else do you see leadership? Well, uh, LNT has already done quite well, so I don't think, uh, I don't see it as an opportunity, but the real opportunity that I see is metals. I mean, look at the price action of the last two days. Look at what Tata Steel has done. Look at what Hindalco has done. Look at what uh, JSW Steel is doing. JSPL is doing. Nalco is doing. 
I see it as a structural trend and I see the NSE metals index moving to a level of 9,000, which is a good 2,000 points away from where we are right now. That's almost 17 to 20% upside. So I, I see metals as the next big trend over the next three to six months. Obviously, we, we have been recommending this to our subscribers at Goldilocks. So IT, metals, PSU, top of our list. Everything else is more of a market performer. You know, at a 19,500 index, you need to be very careful where you want to commit into because risk reward needs to be kept in mind. Okay, so the metal space is something that you like and you're saying the 17 to 20 percent upside in the metal sector is what you're looking at. Uh, you know, there are a couple of these spaces that have uh, sort of um, become the flavor of the market lately, right? Whether it is defense, auto ancillaries, sugar suddenly come back. Do you think these are just fads and one should stay away or anything looks interesting to you here? You know, Sonia, India recently did very well in the 400 to 400 meters. And I think you have a similar race playing out at the markets in the last uh, few months because there is one theme that does well. And then it, you know, as it tires out, it passes it on to some other theme. And it's just carrying on for the last four months. Now, the way we look at it, chemicals, sugar and fertilizer seem to have come back very strongly. Uh, and in fact, even the unlock trade, you know, where we've been a big bull for the last couple of years. So these four pockets of the market, I think we would be extremely positive. And I feel if you have to commit uh, capital into mid caps and small caps from a trading perspective, it could be in these four sectors. Uh, which are the four you said? Chemicals? Chemicals as well, because, you know, it's come out of uh, 18 months of consolidation, a very large time correction. And the last few days seem to have confirmed a big breakout uh, for that index. So across the board, we are looking at strength for the chemical index. So that's the second, uh, you know, expert who's come on our show, chemicals. right? Even Dheeraj was talking about a pickup in chemicals yeah. after a long lull period. Uh, Gautam, but, uh, you know, uh, uh, fundamentally, yeah, I mean, you, you, buy, you buy stuff at lows, right? But technically, you... You're supposed to buy strength. Where's the strength in chemicals? Uh, the, the, the strength will come. You know, that's the beauty of technical analysis. It tells you uh, what smart money is doing. And it does seem as if mm. smart money has already got into chemicals. And I think yeah. uh, retail and obviously all of us will talk of it in much more detail going forward. So the charts yeah. are in sync. I think this has happened in the last two years. When nobody spoke about metals, metals saw probably one of the best rallies in 21. And I think something yeah. similar could happen in chemicals. Okay, one final question. Since you said IT is the big sector that you're watching, a lot of these mid-cap IT names have already hit fresh 52-week highs, whether it's something like a Coforge, Persistent Systems, Emphasis, Scient, all at fresh 52-week highs. Uh, you prefer mid-cap IT to the large caps? Well, I do prefer mid-cap IT uh, to the large caps in terms of holding on. But in terms of fresh bets, I'm clearly looking at the large cap IT because I think mid cap IT is far, far away from support levels. But if the IT index does move up two, three thousand points from here, mid cap IT will continue to participate. But I think it's a little risky to be committing big into mid cap IT at these prices. I think go with the big boys, you know, Wipro, TCS, uh, Tech Mahindra, HCL Tech. I think they could give you mid cap quality returns over the next three to six months. Okay. All right. Uh... We'll leave it there. Thank you very much, Gautam. Appreciate you joining in and running us through uh, all of that uh, detail on uh, the markets at this point in time.